Ready? 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 Go get it! Go get it! Whoa! Whoa! Go get it! You didn't bring it back! You didn't bring it back at all! <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm just getting out today. I think we're gonna have some fun fishing. I would have Otis chase the ball, but I don't know if he's up for it. Otis, you up to chase the ball? Yeah, he's probably just ready to go to sleep. He just kinda... You just kinda sleep all day. You just kinda sleep all day. What do you say we load the car up with some rods and uh, head out for a little fishing? Let's go! Shoo! The foster kittens are still doing good too. Hey TJs! And there's Chase. You guys get to see TJ and Chase on occasion. This is kind of their room until we find them some homes. How you doing? How's Mr. Chase? Oh, there he is. There's TJ. Sunset ain't getting any further away, so we better get out the door. GoPro check. Underwater footage GoPro check. Batteries check. <laughs> New equipment, man. Check it out. Whoops. Got some new equipment sent to us before we head out for some gear that I haven't quite yet announced. I'm not really sure what the point of this little deal is on the bottom of the paddle either. Hopefully like, that's focusing, but yeah. Anyways, Carlisle Magic Angler. This is one of four pieces. We got this piece, that piece, and then another two pieces in there going to, again, undisclosed products. Jesse's heat lamp isn't on today. King's just chilling. Oh, she's out today. Huh. How are you doing? I wasn't quite sure what vehicle Devin took. Turns out she took the truck, which I could have figured. Uh, we could take the green machine or the STI. I'm thinking we'll roll with this one tonight. I got to put some rods in it because she's currently blank. I'm also looking for, there is some new baits I wanted to take out. Oh, they're over here. There we go, y'all. Some pre-release stuff. We're about to take out. We got some new baits that haven't hit the streets yet, man. I think we're gonna have some fun with these tonight. Rods are in. Secret baits are secured, and it is a six out of ten rating on Bass Forecast app, which means absolutely nothing because that app is all over the place. But we're just gonna say six out of ten is closer to ten than four out of ten. So I think we're in good shape, man. It's gonna be an awesome sunset bite. Six thirty. We got like two and a half. We don't have like two and a half hours to fish because I want to get back again to go get groceries and cook Devin dinner. So. We're on a time crunch, man. Hopefully we can catch a bigger fish than yesterday. I don't know if y'all watched the boat video. We caught a lot of fish, nothing over two pounds. Don't know how it manages to happen to us on this channel day in and day out, but we're going for something a little different today. Let's get it, let's get it big. My first turbocharger. Okay, we're here. We're heading back to the secret parking lot. Uh, just don't mind the name on that hotel. Holy heck is it stained water. Everything is messed up from these storms, dude. This is ridiculous. Everything around us looks terrible right now. Uh, good thing there is such a thing as pond hopping. So if this don't pan out, I'd say we got like 100 ponds that we could hit before sunset. Let's go. Let's grab the GoPro and do this thing. I also just got approval to show you guys the baits. I honestly started filming the first half of this video not knowing if I could even show them to you. And we can't, so let me break these things out for you. Big reveal, check them out. 10,000 fish, brand new by Catch Company. This is called the Yodo Worm. It may be, potentially, the first time you've ever seen these. Just got these in the mail from Catch Co, man. 4.75 inch with an irresistible tickle tail. You guys are getting these in a six pack. I was sent two different colors. I'm sure there's gonna be more color options, but look at these things. So these tails are supposed to constantly displace action just because of all the ribs, how the water is gonna be flowing through. Whoa. Whoa, dude, this is a sick little bait. Designed to fit perfectly with bullet style weights too, or just uh, jig heads. I mean, like, this thing's perfect for Texas rigs. What does it got on the back here? It kind of talks about a few different rigging options. Versatile creature bait with a cutting edge profile. Entirely different, dudes. Never seen anything like this. Body is molded with ribbed edges and a tapered tail. For mouthwatering action and a realistic texture, the Yoda Worm is designed with four hook channels down the body for several different rigging options. Okay, okay. So there's a hook channel right there if you want to rig it vertically. I see, on like a swimming jig head. Dude, there's there's one right there on the side. You got one on all four corners. Truly unique, man. Let me do a side-by-side -side comparison on the colors for you guys. Because I've been throwing baits with an orange belly like this, that natural green top. It almost looks like, yeah, yeah. This almost gives off a watermelon red flake color on the top here. 
and then on the bottom it's got that orange belly this is more just like a natural green kind of a lighter belly here these two we're gonna be fishing tonight I think we're gonna have some major success all right y'all know me from the south down here in Texas it would be completely wrong of me to not Texas rig this thing first off by the way if you guys want to save 30 percent on all your baits and tackle you know where to find it man at carl's bait and tackle that is exactly where these are going to be released you can get some of these guggen squad baits you can grab these clippers these things are clutch oh man anyways just about everything i throw is from carl's bait and tackle where is my terminal this looks like a little three yacht that should do fine okay so i'm gonna do the uh i think i'm gonna go kind of vertical with it I don't even know. That is a tasty looking treat right there. Look at this guy, it's completely weedless. The, the hook fits right there in that pocket. But when those bass bite down, they're gonna get hooked. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty stoked on this one, y'all. I, I, don't, I don't think you've ever seen me throw anything on the channel quite like this, so I'm happy to throw something kind of unique. Got him. There we go. First one in just like 10 minutes, man. That's what we're talking about. Woo! First fish on this thing. Heck yes, yeah, she works. Putting that pre-release to the test, dudes. A little bit of a murky water over here. Hopefully you guys can hear because this waterfall. Not bad for a little urban spot in the city, huh? There we go, little bud. We will see you later. You have a good one. Christian's meeting me over here, man. You guys haven't seen him in a minute. He thought he was at the wrong place, but I think he was just fishing that uh, pond on top of the one I was hitting. There's a lot of families over here just chilling, dude. I haven't seen this place that packed in a while, but then again, I haven't hit the spot since the pandemic started. <laughs> nah. Nah. Everybody has Subarus when I went. Place was nuts. Everybody has the Subarus. I'll show you. I can open it up. What's up, Christian? What's up? <laughs> I put usually like four reels on this side, four reels on that side, yeah. and then you just strap them down with that right there. They're, they're tucked. Yeah, good for you, dude. Those, yeah. those are good reels. Those are good reels. That's what I've seen. Crazy stuff, dude. Well, good luck. Check this out, guys. So similar to the Guggenbaits color that I've been throwing so much of, at least in the trench hog for sure. I think it's the Alabama Crawl. Now, this one looks like a color I have not seen on most anything. Yep, guys, we are making the first move. The bite wasn't super hot there. I threw into that fountain and got one on the run, but... We we're heading over to a spot where the bite is known to be fierce at times. <laughs> it's either 100 or it's zero. So I'm gonna probably start off honestly with the crankbait, give the Yoda worm some rest for just one moment because the crankbaits have definitely slayed here before. There she is, boys. Honestly, the water looks a little bit clearer and I think I see some people fishing right now. Here we go, man. You know what happens when we pass towards that drain, right? Oh, yeah. oh God, there we go. That took two minutes. I was about to say, maybe we need to switch to a spinnerbait or something, but psych, he smashed it like topwater, dude. That was insane. Oh God, there we go. Basically, I just brought an extra GoPro battery and a set of pliers. Barely got the GoPro started in time to capture that catch. This place is nuts, dude. All right, bud, that was insane. Thank you for that. We will see you next time. Moving on. There we go, that's a good one, Christian. That's a pretty sizable bass right there. That's not bad. There we go. Nice one right over the top. Absolutely choked it. No, please don't. Crank spot. I thought he was a little bit bigger in the water, but don't worry, the big ones are here. Let's get them. on here we go son Got him. okay christian's first one of the video Woo! ladies and gentlemen about time <laughs> man you know i was just telling myself i'm sick and tired of weston inviting me out and catching all the dang fish <laughs> every time <laughs> i just get lucky maybe yeah but you know it took me poaching his spot right here to catch one not gonna lie but <laughs> anyways first one of the day looking forward to getting some more I let this guy go Let's go. The city skate, baby. Guys, check this little bit of current out. Christian and I are just making zoom out our first move and that looks like it could attract some fish. I'm gonna try and be quiet, probably already ruined it, but there could be some digs right here. Oh wow, that's, dude, this must be just very high. Well, that was fast. Nice, dude. On the square bill. Heck yes. Shallow diver. Right here, I don't know if you can see, but it's super crazy shallow. And I was just reeling it half a crank and letting it float back up. 
half a crank it. So I didn't want to dig into that dirt, but I watched him. I watched it float up right here and the dude came up and just whew, got it right there. Good little dude. Let's get him back in the water. Well, we just realized I don't even know why I'm filming, man. Christian's catching every single one of these things. He's on number three in like five minutes over here. Where is your pliers? Oh no, I got mine. <laughs> Cranking tonight. Yeah, cranking. Shad color cranks. Check it out. Little shallow diver. I think it actually dives one to five. One to five? Yeah. Or maybe even one to three because it's super shallow. See ya. Woo. There we go. All right. Got another one. He's a tiny little feller. Yo-yo, and though, I was kind of moving it a little bit slower, you guys. I'll tell you about that technique here in a second. It's uh, probably something you haven't heard me talk about in a little bit. See ya. Yeah, guys, so we got a little bit of wind. I figured the audio on the big camera might be a little bit better than the GoPros. I'm doing that yo-yo technique, though, where I raise the rod, and then I reel down the slack and drop the rod. Raise the rod, reel down the slack, and drop the rod. Okay, so good news stacked on top of good news. Actually, I, I really did want to cook Devin dinner, but that was her. She says she's getting off work sooner than later. I was expecting her to be there for another hour, so I was going to dip and go hit the old Kroger, but she said we should just go get sushi. I'm probably out of focus. Yeah, so she's almost done with work. I think we're going to go get sushi afterwards, so we're just going to fish for a little bit longer for you guys. Let's see if we can't get something big, man. How often do I say this on the channel? Let's catch something big, and guess what's happening? Not that. Not always. Just here and there. There's big fish in here. I don't get it. But yes, yeah, so essentially with this yo-yo technique, you're moving the bait a little bit slower. It's fluttering and then it stops and kind of falls a little bit. Fluttering, then it stops and kind of falls. And when it's on that pause is usually when the bass will get it. So as you raise the rod tip up, is actually when you're bringing the bait in. Now when I lower the rod tip and reel, it's just sitting still. And so the whole point of that is just that quick burn, pause on the way down. Then a lot of times you'll feel that heavy weight. Well, not like that. And that will be a fish on the hook. By the way, this is Shotgun Shad, probably my favorite color in this lipless crankbait. Was that real life? <laughs> Dude, Bugs Bunny is chill today. People out here must be feeding these things. All right, y'all, so Devin just called. She's off work. I'm gonna go meet her at the sushi joint. But before I do, I was literally just about to throw around the Nico rig exclusively tonight. I brought the ultimate Nico rig kit. I just wanna show you what's inside before I do in today's little episode. We got some watermelon red flake, six inch lunker logs. I had one ready to go, boom. And then also I had put some nail weights in here. So what you do is you put a nail weight in the tip of that Sanko and it helps give it just a little bit of weight since it's kind of windy out here. Boom, boom, boom. I believe this is an eighth ounce. It could be a quarter. Now it's in there, right? You guys have seen me rig these up a couple times recently, but for all you new subscribers, I just wanted to show you. We've got a little wacky rig tool, just some O-rings, as well as this little piece that helps you put them on the Sanko, so check this out. You feed one of your O-rings onto this guy right here. This is just a Field & Stream brand, just completely random. Toss your Sanko in there, and then you can slide that O-ring right up onto your Sanko, usually where there's no texture. That's about where you want to rig these puppies. It's just kind of an alternative to like a wacky rig for me. It works out fantastically when there is a little bit of wind, and you don't want so much weight. You want to kind of stay above any of that grass and whatnot. So all you got to do is grab your hook. You want to rig it to where the hook goes backwards against the front of the worm. I'll show you what I mean. But so this is kind of be the, going to be the front of the worm or where that nail weight is. So when this is on the bottom in the water, this is going to be the nose and it's going to be popping along the bottom and your hook is backwards. Now what that means is as you pop it, you won't get caught up in all that grass. It's not going to get caught up on the hook like if you were to rig it this way and you'd be catching all that grass. So guys, with that being said, we're going to have to throw this on the next episode. I'm going to get out and go meet Devin for some dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <gasps>